Hello, my name is Tom DeHaas, co-founder of Interface Fluidics. I'm coming to you from our lab at the National Institute for Nanotechnology in beautiful Edmonton, Alberta. Welcome to the fourth video in our Visual Reservoir series. This episode will be dedicated to a technology developed right here in Alberta, Steam Assisted Gravity Drainage, or SAGD. SAGD is used in shallow reservoirs, typically 150 to 600 meters deep comprised of highly permeable, unconsolidated sand and saturated with extremely viscous oil, known as bitumen. SAG-D was developed by Dr. Roger Butler with Imperial Oil in the 1970s and, 70s, and is now widely used in northern Alberta. And this technology is also gaining popularity in other places around the world. Let's take a close look at the micromodel that is used for this test. Steam is injected at the top right of the chip here, and emulsion is produced from the bottom right here. Steam is injected at high temperature and condenses against the cool bitumen that is in the chip. As the bitumen heats up, the viscosity goes down and drains the bitumen towards the outlet. The chip is maintained in a vertical orientation with little pressure drop across the chip, so gravity is the dominating force in the flow. The white box will be our field of view for the next section. Okay, so our chip started filled with Athabasca bitumen, and we are now injecting steam. As the steam enters the chip, you will see the formation of emulsion. An emulsion is when one fluid that is not miscible in another forms droplets inside the second fluid. An example you'd be familiar with is solid dressing with oil and vinegar. Reservoir engineers look to understand the effect of many variables on SAGD production. Some of the main concerns are the effect of geology, barriers and baffles that impact the flow of steam, which pressure and corresponding steam saturation temperature to operate at, where to place wells in a reservoir and how, how wide to space the wells, pressure communication between wells, and which steam additives could potentially improve production. For this run, we've added a volatile alkaline additive to the steam. Take a look at the flow through this porous media and see if you can see any differences. The chemical that we've injected will increase the pH of the steam and impact the way that the oil drains from the reservoir. Notice that the thickness of the drainage region is smaller in this case than with the pure steam. You may also notice that the water tends to stick to the glass more than the oil. The reason for this is the alkaline additive releasing the carboxylic acid in the oil, which is a natural surfactant. A surfactant is a soap. It changes the way that oil and water emulsions behave, just like adding soap to remove the oil from a dirty frying pan. Oil companies in Alberta are currently testing many different additives to help improve their production, and Interface is helping companies achieve this.